Hi, you must You're be- You're late. Let's go. You know, you're really not what I was hoping for. You're just much older than I was expecting. I want trending, high-end everything, no matter the cost. My fiance gave me a budget, which I mean, I won't be paying any attention to. It's my day and I should have what I want. Doesn't he get a say? Sure, he gets to say, yes, dear, whatever you say, dear. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Show me your proposal. I don't have one. Why did I hire you to plan my wedding then? You didn't. Mom, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Happy to be here. It's It's been so nice getting to know you. And you, you too, Mrs. Langley. I hope you're not upset, but when I told Mom you were hiring a wedding planner, she suggested we save the money and offered to fly in and help you instead. Thought it might be a great way for us to get to know each other, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's great. I just wish you told me. Uh, the, the planner I hired will be here any minute, oh, so... Oh, no. No, I, I canceled them days ago. <laughs> oh. Well, I, I wanted to surprise you with, you know, the, the, the best planner I know. You know, Mom has been CEO of her company for years. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it that you do I, I don't think Danny ever mentioned? Well, I'm preparing to be the CEO of our lives. <laughs> okay, uh, but what do you do for work? I'm sure you know, Mrs. Langley, that being a wife and a mother is a full-time job. Well, yes, but you're not either of those things, are you? Besides, it's important to be self-sufficient, too. Of course. I'll be totally independent once Danny sets up my expense account. What? Don't worry, Mom, we have a plan. Yeah, yeah first the wedding, then baby, then thank God, a new house. Once Danny gets his big promotion, that's ambitious. As my namesake, Audrey Hepburn, once said, nothing is impossible. The word itself says I am possible. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, I feel like we should celebrate. And I know just who. Isn't she great? Honestly, not really. What? What, what? What's not to like? Well, her attitude about money, for one thing. And I really don't like her putting all that financial pressure on you. We have an understanding. This... this works for us. Don't you trust me? Well, I do. But her? It's obvious she can't be trusted. I love you, Mom, but you... you're wrong. Look, I, I know you think our relationship is one-sided, but we, we support each other equally. Would your accountant agree? I don't have an accountant anymore. What? Well, Audrey suggested we just manage our money ourselves, you know? Don't you mean your money? I'm sorry, Danny, but I really think you're making a huge mistake. I thought we'd do a celebratory taste test. Okay, this is the best of the best, top shelf all the way. <laughs> okay, so that's, um... What about eight, eight glasses per bottle, right? 100 bucks a pop. We got 250 people coming. Um, that's 32 bottles total. That's $8,000 on champagne alone. What is your point? Babe, we, we can't afford it. I don't know what you want me to say. I have good taste. Champagne taste on a beer budget. Would you excuse us for a moment, please, Mrs. Langley? Uh, I'll go for a walk, give you a chance to chat. Okay. You told me I could have the wedding of my dreams! You still can, but within reason. We can't blow all our savings on it. What are you doing? Showing you just how wasteful I can be.
Audrey, stop! Not until you give me what I want! Please! I, I, I will figure it out! Good. This should help. It's all ready to go. I just need your signature. A second mortgage. You want me to take out a loan? How else are you gonna afford the wedding of my dreams? It's my day too, Audrey. Yes, of course it is. And we can have everything we want. Once you sign this. Audrey, leveraging our homes. It's too big a risk, it's not happening. You will do this or else. Or what? Are you giving me an ultimatum? I need some time to think about it. Fine. We better hurry up before I lose the deposit on our venue. I know you'll make the right choice. And if you can't, then I will. You, uh, you heard all that, huh? You deserve better, Danny. She's not good for you. She's just stressed about the wedding. You know, she's, she's not. Into you for your money? Don't marry her. She'll, she'll drain your bank account and break your heart. I don't know about that, but I do know I'm not ready to give up yet. What's it going to take? Proof that she really doesn't love me, I, I guess. Danny, are you done sulking yet? Or can I have your credit card to pay the deposit on the venue? Never mind. I don't need you after all. I forgot my wallet. What's going on? What, what, what is this? I think the, the proof you need to see Audrey for who she really is. You look nice. I didn't know you were still here. Just came to say goodbye. Tie up a few loose ends. Uh-huh, great. Oh, and no hard feelings, right? I just, I thought it was best to leave the wedding planning up to the professionals. You know? None taken. So, uh, how are you planning to pay for this? I have my ways. And my son's bank account, right? Something like that? <gasps> hey, get out! It's bad luck to the bride before the big day! Bad luck is the least of your problems right now, Audrey. What could be worse? Jail time for forgery, perhaps? How dare you go behind my back like that? It is that proof? That you never really loved me? That you were only in it for the money? No, I, I did this for us, for, for our future together. Really? <laughs> Till debt do us part? I need you to leave, Audrey. Or what? Or I'll report you for falsifying documents. 
you would never. Is this really what you want? I do. <gasps> you will regret this. <laughs> you know what that means? Wasn't meant to be. Not this time, but one day. Well, here's to uh, finding the right person to spend my happily ever after with. <laughs> yeah. And you will. Thanks for checking out our video. Hit that subscribe button for more videos every single week. And make sure to watch the next video here.